Hello, welcome to Amigo Science. Today, let's see this topic which is in the news in recent times that government constitutes a eight member high level committee to examine one nation and one election. This high level committee has been constituted, you know, our ex president Ramnath Kovind. Under his chairmanship, this committee has been, Ramnath Kovind is the chairman for this committee. Under his presidentship, the government has constituted a committee for examining. I mean, they want to see the various issues with respect to one nation, one election. This is the context which is in the news. Now, let us try to analyze this one nation, one election thing. When we are talking about one nation, one election, it means simultaneous elections for Lok Sabha and uh, state legislative assemblies. Not only that, if you study this news in detail, it also talks about simultaneous elections for Lok Sabha, state assemblies, even municipalities and panchayats also. We have local government structure, right? In every state level, where you have state election commission, which will conduct local body selections. So, this committee has given the context for simultaneous elections for all the three levels, Lok Sabha, state assemblies, as well as local governments also. So, in this context, when we are talking about such simultaneous elections, let us try to understand the various issues involved in this scenario. So, when we are talking about simultaneous elections, okay, let us talk about the advantages of simultaneous elections. When we have simultaneous elections, when elections are coming, if we do not have simultaneous elections, there are some issues because of continuous elections processes which are happening in the country. So, when the simultaneous elections is debated, we have to look at both positives and negatives. In the present scenario, when simultaneous elections are not there, when simultaneous elections are not there, what are the issues which we are having now? If you look at the issues, if simultaneous elections are not there, in the present scenario, if these are not there, if you look at the issues, we will try to list out various issues in it. First dimension would be always like Niti Aayog in its report has also quoted in an average year, always some form of election is happening in the country. If you take local bodies also in all these states, some form of election is always happening in the country. Even different state elections are coming in an average every year, some states are going to elections. So, when elections are happening continuously, you will have model code of conduct model code of conduct will be implemented election commission of india will implement various strict rules you know that is comes under this model code of conduct so when this is operational when elections are declared in a particular states or few states some of the new initiatives can't be taken by the governments because Government in power may misutilize its position. So, it, when elections are near, it may declare new schemes, new projects that may be even developmental projects also. So, in order to avoid that situation, model code of conduct will come into picture for elections. So, whenever elections are declared, this model code of conduct will be operational and the developmental work of the government will get limited. So, that is, see, for the sake of elections, we are postponing the developmental works. That is one major issue. If you look at other issues, slowly, all uh, these things we will try to understand. With respect to huge expenditure involved for conducting elections. Even the government, election is not a simple procedure. The government of India has to spend lot of expenditure for conducting elections. Not only with respect to government, even political parties, the candidates who are participating in the elections, all have to spend huge amounts of money. So, for state elections, for local body elections, for uh, uh, you know Lok Sabha elections, all these things, huge expenditure will be there for candidates, government candidates, as well as 
political parties okay so that would be the uh, second so we are looking at issues in the present scenario if simultaneous elections are not there that's what we are trying to understand here now if you try to add these dimensions here third aspect would be when always the country is in election mode when always the country is in election mode some form of the election in at the, all the three levels long term goals long term goals may be compromised may be compromised because every political party wants to win the elections so they will try to make short term uh, voter appeasement goals uh, not taking care of the future of the country as a whole but just to win a election schemes may be launched lot of freebies may be launched just to win a upcoming election so focus will not be on long term development of the country elections becomes the primary focus area for all the parties which are involved not only this if you look at another aspect would come when always there will be these elections are there normal life of citizens that will be disrupted because of elections even there will be policy paralysis lot of breaks in implementation of things all these things are associated if we don't have if in the present scenario so with respect to the issues in the present context launch of model code of conduct hmm, as a break and uh, expenditure heavy kind of expenditure then long term goals will be missed policy paralysis disruption of normal life and also we can talk about yeah with respect to these things whenever elections are happening if you observe caste conflicts are increasing in the society even communal rights regional issues that will be highly you know focused upon i mean not regional issues in the sense i am talking about conflicts they that will be hyped identity politics will increase so when we are talking about the present always elections caste conflicts generally happen especially at third level with respect to local governments where caste still is a uh, very important identity at village level definitely many kinds of conflicts are happening if you observe this communal rights also uh, the scenario of communal rights most of the communal rights happen in urban areas that to when elections are nearby uh, rather than who is doing it the the concept here is whenever for the sake of elections only all religions will propagate same peace and thing but when elections are there these things will be used or misused rather to say to mobilize people identity politics communal rights vote bank politics always these kinds of uh, divisive things gets intensified on when these elections are happening continuously so that is uh, the important scenarios which we can highlight in the present context we can also look at some other aspects also the gut like law commission of india also has talked about it you can quote these things in your answers niti aayog also talked about it with respect to uh, reforming the present situation now apart from the positives if you look at the negative aspects so these are the issues in the present scenario if we have simultaneous elections then also there will be issues okay so if we have simultaneous elections here if you look at the let us know now we till here we have highlighted some major issues in the present context now we are reforming that and suppose if we have simultaneous elections if we have simultaneous elections if simultaneous elections are implemented or one nation one election if it is implemented still you will have issues 
still you have issues. It's not that simultaneous elections are going to solve all the previous mentioned problems. Okay, you, know, you can add many points in the previous things also uh, with respect to uh, disruption of this regular active school. Many school teachers will be involved in the election machinery. Mobilization of various forces also will be there. Security personnel also will be there. All those dimensions also you can add in the previous uh, part. Now, when we are looking at, let's say, if the committee recommends and there is a special session conveyed, whether the special session which is going to happen in the September, whether it does or not, as this topic is in the news, we are looking at uh, these aspects. If simultaneous elections are implemented, still some issues will remain. It is not a complete solution. Because if simultaneous elections are done, what is there? Look at the operational feasibility. So many crores of water, all India level, electing at one time. So much of uh, capacity is required. It may have a, a longer period of duration. Okay, and uh, the scale of op whether with respect to the infrastructure required, all these things is also very challenging tax. A small dis disruption at one part of the country may have uh, wider repercussions throughout the nation. So when we are talking about uh, simultaneous elections, of course, there is a huge challenge with respect to its operational feasibility. Not only that, what is the guarantee that after conducting simultaneous elections, still the state government will complete the term? Because if you go till, if you go to our history from 1957 till 1967, already till 1967, simultaneous elections are already there, at least for Lok Sabha and state assemblies from 19. 51, 52, from that point of time to 1967, it was simultaneous elections. After 1967, many uh, regional parties came in, slowly they came into power. Many state governments collapsed, no confidence motion was passed. Uh, the governments lost their majority. So, the time scales were different. The period of assemblies were different, Lok Sabha, the synchronization was lost. If we implement simultaneous elections right now, same scenario may develop. Some state governments may lose their majority in the midterm. By-elections will always be there. Some form of the other will be there at local level. Still many issues may come up. So, is it really? Will it going to solve in reality? Will it be able to address it? That becomes a big debate. Okay, then another important dimension issue if we implement simultaneous elections is what about regional issues? Regional issues. India is a highly diverse country. National issues may be different from regional issues. In fact, they are different in many aspects. So, the importance for regional issues will be lost when we club local body elections and state elections and Lok Sabha elections. People may prefer either one of them. That may not be a uh, good uh, for the such, for such diverse country like ours. I am not talking only about regional parties identity. I am talking about regional issues per se. Every state is different. Even at local levels issues are different. So, at one point of time, national issue may dominate, at local point, at one point of context, regional issue may dominate, they may miss the whole context altogether because at the same time, people will vote. Okay, so they may have the same voting behavior for both levels or for all the three levels. So, in a diverse country like India, missing importance or giving less importance to regional issues or giving more importance to regional issues, both are dangerous. Okay. So, that is what we are trying to see how far this is able to solve and look at the complicated amendments which may be required. Representation of people act should be amended, consent of the states because if they are going to do at third level, at local body level also, state election commission, there is role, many things will change if they are going to implement at all the three levels. Huh? We have a hurdle of you know complex amendments that has to be passed. Okay, procedural delays, all these things are still there. These challenges are still posing. So, the whole overall gist, if we have to look, if simultaneous elections are not there, 
there are issues here if simultaneous elections are there still issues are there so what is the solution uh, the present high level committee is going to look into it but anyway uh, it may not be possible to club all the state elections at the same time that may be a difficult scenario so one suggestion is see when elections are there continuously if elections are there continuously accountability will be there for the politicians because always they have to go in front of the public if state if central government is not performing well in the next state election uh, people may respond in a very strict manner against the central government if regional parties are not performing well they may favor a national party various things are there always accountability is there so when you when politicians when the working political machinery is coming for elections frequently they have to be they will become answerable to the public by removing this all these things you are making it a only five year once in five year affair so when you have this only once in five year only once in five year election is there that to at all the three levels Lok Sabha, state assemblies, and even local bodies. Okay, this may result into decreasing levels of accountability, answerability for the public. That danger is also there. that danger is also there so as suggested by this see, there are pros and cons for both scenarios so your conclusion can be uh, in the context of rather than having uh, complete elections for all the these things if they want to implement some of the suggestions given uh, by various committees or various uh, uh, ex election commissioners is Uh, to conduct at least half of the state elections with the central government lok sabha elections the other half of the states will go to the elections after two and a half years so the suggestion which they are putting is see this is not the final suggestion this is the generally accepted thing when this issue came up at least for two and a half years so the central government lok sabha elections will happen uh, along with at least half of the states then after two and a half years the remaining half of the states may go for elections this can be a scenario now they have worked out at third level also they are coming up with respect to local government bodies also that will further complicate the issue so let's wait and watch how this uh, issue develops accordingly we will update thank you